In this video I'd like to show you three easy ways of playing the B chord. This first B chord shape I'm going to show you is the one that Bruce Springsteen used in his song Born in the USA. And I'm playing this chord shape by placing my first finger at the second fret on the first string, my third finger at the fourth fret on string four, and my fourth finger at the fourth fret on string three. I'm leaving the second string open and I'm not playing string five or string six. Here's how that chord sounds. And actually you can play that same chord all the way through that song, Born in the USA, because it only has really one chord in it. All that happens is that the bass note changes. This next B chord is very similar to the first chord shape we just learned. In fact, the only thing different is my first finger is being placed at the second fret on string five instead of being on the first string. The third and fourth finger are in exactly the same finger placement as they were for the first B chord. I'm not playing the first string or string six, but I am playing the second string. I'm leaving that one ring open. And this chord gives us a nice bass note to add to our chord. It gives us a lot of bottom end. Here's how this chord sounds. And this is great if you want to have a moving bass note. For example, I could take that uh, finger off, that first finger off, and play an open note, string 5, which would create a B chord with an A bass. Uh, so here's me playing this new B chord that we've just learnt, this new B chord shape, and I'll go from a B chord to a B chord with an A bass. Now all the B chords that I'm showing you on this video uh, do not contain the third note of the chord but they are very big powerful sounding chord all the ones we're learning and they're very very useful you'll hear them in lots and lots of songs now the last chord shape i'm going to show you uh, is exactly the same as the one we've just learned in fact the only thing different is we're playing the first string open and that creates a b suspended fourth chord Now the neat thing is that if you move this shape around, in fact if I take the same chord shape and just move that shape up to the 7th fret, I'll be playing an E chord. If I go back to my B chord and move it back two frets and play the same five strings, I'll be playing an A suspended 2nd chord. Now the cool thing is that as you know that if you're playing a song in the key of E you'd have an E chord, most likely an A and quite possibly a B. So with this one chord shape you could move up and down the strings on the guitar up and down the neck and you could keep the same fingers all locked in the same shape and play all the chords for the song in E. So here's an example, here's an E chord going back to an A moving it up to a B. 